This trail kind of makes me feel like I'm in a storybook forest. There's teapots everywhere. Hey guys! Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we are going for a small hunting trip, but not for animals. If you guys have been following us on Instagram, you might have noticed that we bought a teacup in a thrift store. That's why today's hiking trip is going to be on Teapot Hill. Teapot Hill is a trail here in Chilliwack where there's hidden teapots all over the place. And our goal today is to find teapots along the way. And probably drop our own. But before we move ahead, I think we should tell them. Mm -hmm. Since phase three has started here in BC, so recreational travel is allowed within the province, two weeks from now, we are gonna be embarking on a trip to Vancouver Island. We are going to be staying at different spots like Nanaimo, Tofino, and Victoria. We wanted to explore the beauty of BC starting off with Vancouver Island. So make sure you guys stick around because it's gonna be a lot of fun. But for now, teapot hunting. We're going to do a quick stop for breakfast at Fior de Latte. We wanted to try this out. We also got Subway for lunch. Because one of the mistakes that we did last time was we didn't bring lunch. That's not happening today! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think we're here guys. Let's go check this out. We finally got our own hiking shoes. Hopefully this is a great investment. After two hikes, we figured that runners might not cut it for the future. Here's my bear. <laughs> We're here! Teapot Hill. All right, starting off the hike at exactly 11.37. Let's go! I think this is the start. Steep climb right away. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think there's a small map right here. We should take a look. You are here. So we are right here. Teapot Hill. Going over here. And right over there. That's our main point. But I heard there's two viewpoints on here. Mm -hmm. We should check them out both. Also if you needed to use the outhouse, there's an outhouse right by the map. I'll get all set. There are cops there! On the log! Yeah. These are our first cups. Looks like a Wonder Woman cup and a Christmas cup. <laughs> Here's one too! Look at this. Oh. First teapot. First teapot. We found three! <laughs> a picture. We found another one! <laughs> a pink one this time. Just on top of the log here. I don't know if this is a thing too because I, this is the second rock that I've seen that has writings on them. Maybe if you don't have a teapot, you can put a rock. This trail kind of makes me feel like I'm in a storybook forest. Yeah, like Alice in Wonderland. There's like hidden gems everywhere. Hidden teapots everywhere. So always make sure you have an eye out. One more over there too. Wow, that's so cute. Uh, I think I found a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Does that count? Not sure. Of course, you need pastries when you have a tea party. So I think that's a total of nine teacups and cups and one donut. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we found a canned tomato. <laughs> Does that count? 
<laughs> so it's not just a teapot hill. Ten teapots, one donut, and one canned tomato. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Sorry, correction. It's a canned tomato sardines. We found the yellow teapot. I'm slowly realizing that we should have brought a zoom lens because some of the teapots here are hard to reach since we're doing a wide angle and it's not a zoom lens. It's kind of hard to show you guys. We're gonna do our best though. <laughs> Here's one that you can spot right away. It's a transparent teacup. That's so pretty. So that's number 17. Not sure how that got up there, but there's one at the top of the tree there by the branch. How did that go up there? And also there's one here. Number 20, right there by the log. And it seems that there's a rock beside it too. So it must be an actual thing that they put a rock beside the teacup. So they put the name or the labeling on the rock, not on the teacup. This teapot heel hike is considered as easy, so it takes you about two hours to go round trip, plus the amount of hours that you're gonna look for actual teapots, like us. <laughs> this hike is perfect for kids. We're seeing a lot of them. And kids at heart, like us. This one right here, right at the base of this trunk. And this is number 24. It's just taking shelter from this log. It has a good hiding place. So this one's just a cup. It's number 25. 25! So we have a split way right here. Oh, there's some signs over here. Teapot Hill, hiking only. This way. So this Teapot Hill hike is a little steeper than the first trail that we've done. But I think it's way easier from the last one that we've done. The Lindemann. <laughs> the Lindemann Lake. That one was pretty treacherous. We just found number 30. And that's number 31. So I think there's some sort of cleaning mechanism that the parks implement here because you could imagine for all the visitors if they leave teapots here, it could get very crowded, right? Maybe they clean it out annually or something. It's a little muddy over here, but that's number 32. Found the sign. I guess the pot hill is going this way. It's number 33, 34. I think we're getting close. It's Muddy. getting a little steeper now, and we've seen people going back. Quite muddy. Oh, there's another one. It's number 39. Big fat one for number 42. And number 43 over there. Oh, it's a teacup. I think I found another one. Another one? What what number is that? 42. No, no, that's 42. That's num this is 43. Uh-huh. And this is 44. Mm. I think that might be number 45. Honestly, I'm starting to lose count. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Yeah, monkey cup. And there's one more right there. It was 46 and 47. I found the big one. Look at that! Oh, <laughs> I think that counts as two. The big one. And for the lid, there's one more on top. <laughs> Are we on the 50 now? No, I think that's number 48. So we found about five zero. <laughs> Who would have think that we found 50 teacups here? The pathway is starting to get all narrow here. Pretty a long way down when you fall down there. It's 55, I think. The rose gold teapot. How yeah. did they put that up there? I honestly don't know how people get into those pots just to put their teacups. Who said this is an easy hike? This is not easy. <laughs> ah, this is a pretty good spot. Look at that. It looks like a Chinese teapot. That's one right there. 68! <laughs> this one has its own tea plate. Come 
Bobby. Okay. It's one of those chrome rose gold teapots. Number 75. 75. Honestly, I'm just relying on Max to do the counting. <laughs> I've already lost track. Writing it down on my phone. Looks like they wanted to share a branch together. 76. I don't know if this counts. It looks like a frisbee with a drawing of a pot. It's a rock. Oh, it's a rock. This one's a pretty obvious one. Number 78. 78 it is. This one's a sneaky one. Ooh. 79. Who would really think that you would find 80 teacups here? 80 teapots. Well, this one's pretty brand new. It's January 2020. Number 82. This was number 84. I think we've reached the lookout. Ooh. We just checked the time and it's 1.44 right now. So it took us two and a half hours to get to the top. Look at this violator teacup right here. That's 87, 88. I don't think that's a teacup. That's more of a, a tumbler. <laughs> Number 90 with Coffee Mate. <laughs> it even has Coffee Mate beside it. I found 91 and 92 and 93. I found 98 over there hanging by the ribs. 99 is that chrome teapot hanging by the tree there. So after seeing the lookout, we are now heading back, but we are not quite done yet because we have to find our own spot for our teapot. Do you have a place in mind? Uh, maybe somewhere covered or hidden? So we want to find a place where it's a little bit hidden, but you don't want to completely hide the teapot. You want people to see it, right? Is there another route going down? <laughs> uh, I think it's the only steep way down. So guys, I think we found our spot. We're gonna put Nat and Max. Nat and uh, looks Nat and Matt. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you should put a play button right underneath. Just a small YouTube play button. Okay, I'll try. It's a disaster! What did you do? It's a play button! I guess it's unique enough that we know that it's ours. Matt and Max with the sophisticated teapot. There you go, there's gonna be our teapot. Matt and Max. Max saying goodbye one last time to our teapot. Through Instagram, of course. <laughs> If you guys are taking this hike, tag us if you guys see our teapot. And if you guys are thinking that they only found 99 teapots, our teapot here is going to be the 100 teapot. So as we make our way back to the parking, we are gonna let you guys go. But this teapot hill hike is one for the books, right? Mm -hmm. Not only it's kid friendly, but it's a fun hike too. And as always, if you guys are new here, we'd love to keep you around. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video. And if you have any suggestions for the upcoming vlogs, let us know in the comment section down below. Until then, see you in the next vlog. And thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs> but we are not done yet because we have to find... <laughs> Hey! Oh, is that a teapot? Where? There! No, it wasn't a teapot. False alarm! <laughs> <laughs>